If you're just starting out in RC or you're on a very limited budget and you want a radio that will work with aircraft, wings and FPV drones, you should take a look at this new RadioMaster T8 Pro. It's got a lot of the features of the full-size radios, but it's only going to cost you about £50 or around $70. Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. This is the pro version of the Radio Master T8. It's a tiny bit more expensive, but it's got a few more features and it's got this fold away LCD screen, which I think is invaluable. It runs OpenTX like its bigger brothers, and this screen makes things so much easier to use. The radio comes with a manual, a USB C cable, and you can unclip this screen. Now, the spec on this is pretty good. It's a 16 channel multi protocol radio using the CC2500 chip. So you can use it with all the popular receivers like the FreeSky D8, D16, Radiolink, Futaba, Corona, and so on. It's got a built in battery in here which you can charge through a USB port on the top there. You can just see in there. And this screen, it's monochrome 128 by 64 LCD. And although it's small, it's surprisingly good. It's bright enough to read even outdoors and you can fold it away. So it's not going to get broken when you put it in your flight bag. And it's got all the usual OpenTX style buttons down here in the place where you find them on bigger radios. You've got system, return, page up, page down, model, up and down and enter, etc. And there's these two tiny trim joysticks down here to trim the main sticks. Very small, but actually pretty neat. And it's even got hall sensor gimbals, which is pretty unusual at this price point. And as you can see, it's a gamepad style design, which for me as a pincher actually works fine. And this is so similar to the FreeSky X Lite, which I just didn't get on with because I couldn't pinch. But this is OK. On the back, there's a couple of these pull out finger rests, which are mighty fiddly to get at. And I can see why they're there, but they're just not for me. On the top here, there's four switches which is not many, but it's fine for most FPV drone pilots and wings. And there's a trainer port under here. And this is what looks like a connection for an SAM, SMA antenna. It doesn't come off, so I've no idea if it's intended to be used. If you do though, the radio will need to come apart by the looks of things. And oh, and also on the top here is the SD card slot. Mine didn't come with a card, but you can download the standard contents from the OpenTX or the Radio Master website. Let's see what we've got. Good. So you do actually get quite a lot for your money with this, but there's a few things that you do need to be aware of. This doesn't support TBS Crossfire. There's no connectors for it on the back here for an external module. So if that's what you plan to use, it really isn't for you. And it feels like a bit of a toy. It's not solid like expensive radios. It's not horrible and creaky or anything, but it's just budget. And I found this screen on here. It was a little bit floppy. I can't find a way to tighten this up. It flops about all over the place. I'm sure you could do something though. And although it's got these hall sensor gimbals, they aren't the best. They're perfectly fine to use, but I guess something has to give when it's a budget radio. So would I recommend this? Well, it's a yes and no answer. If you're on a budget, it's perfect, particularly if you like gamepad style controllers. And it's small enough to throw in the smallest of flight bags. The alternative would be something like this TX12, which is more like a shrunk full size radio. It's a similar price, but you can plug in an external module for Crossfire or whatever. So I think it comes down to personal choice. If you prefer a small gamepad style radio and you're not bothered about the external module, go for this. If you want an external module and you prefer the more traditional style of radio, get the TX12. They're both pretty good though. 
As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe, hit the bell down here to get notified when I post new content. And I'll see you next time.